Hi guys. I just have to tell you about the uh, <laughs> my day yesterday. Uh, as some of you might know, is right when I was wrapping up a little rant yesterday. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It is a a gloomy Wednesday, March 28th or 29th, 2023. I'm sitting here. The entire town has no electricity today, and I'm sitting here filling up a day in the collapse of uh, industrial civilization. So I'm going to tell you about my day yesterday. So a few of you might be aware that right when I was wrapping up my rant yesterday, my buddy and uh, his uh, wife, who I've never met, uh, came over for a visit, brought a delicious chicken enchilada lunch over. So uh, we're going to call them uh, Billy Bob and Lulu came to visit uh, me and my uh, my friend, you know, where, where I'm staying. And so, and Billy Bob is, is, you know, has never been a close friend. He's been a fairly casual acquaintance. I've known this man, good Lord, 15 years. He is a great guy, uh, obvi you know, college educated, obviously intelligent, informed, articulate, uh, his new wife also obviously uh, intelligent, informed, articulate, college educated. Of course, my my friend here uh, is also uh, intelligent, informed, articulate. Uh, they, you know, you would not meet any of these three people. And, and call any of them clueless morons. So, uh, I, I, I never really, I mean, he was, uh, Billy Bob is just one of my picking buddies, so I never really uh, engaged in any sort of political discussion or whatever with him. I have been getting warnings over the past couple of years. Uh, uh, whenever his name is, has come up, I have been getting warnings that Billy Bob has gone to the Trump side. Uh, that we've lost another one. That one of our, you know, one of, he was kind of an outlying tribes member, has gone over to the dark side, over to the Trump side. But I, I, guys, I honestly had had no clue what I was going to have unleashed on me yesterday. So of course, my friend here, who lives here, is an, an ardent uh, Donald Trump supporter as well, and uh, so it was. I had three Donald Trump voters. I got to spend. And it was a long and an enjoyable visit. I got to spend six hours yesterday in the company of three, as they say, college-educated, obviously intelligent uh, people who just happened to vote for Donald Trump. Uh, six hours, three of them and one of me, it was an absolutely bizarre experience. I, I mean, I got to hear, uh, you know, all three of them ardently and 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 completely believe on a on a quote cellular level that the election was stolen, that Donald Trump was the rightfully elected president of this country. And that the, I guess, the deep state, you know, rigged the election. I, I, I got to hear all that. Uh, then, uh, well, well uh, of, of course, since we hadn't all gotten together since bo before Corona panic, uh, you know, so at least 
there was one thing we could all four could sort of agree on. All right, it, it goes without saying that uh, that uh, all three of them, of course, are are absolutely. Uh, uh, just uh, vehement anti-vaxxers, uh, which I am not. But you know, it's like when I'm sitting in a group of three people uh, who voted for Donald Trump, well, might or might not vote for Donald Trump again, most likely depending on whether Ron DeSantis uh, is running or not. Uh, who believe the election was stolen and, of course, believe in chemtrails, which I'll get to a minute. You know, that more than anything else, the fact that I somewhat agree with them on corona panic makes me question. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I'm listening to, to this uh, to this absolute horseshit being bandied about the room uh, trying to defend the tiniest bit uh, of uh, you know discernment and critical thinking it almost made me want to run put on a mask, and, and get vaccinated. I, I'm thinking if, if there was only a mask in, in a vaccine uh, that could prevent uh, th that could prevent whatever virus has gotten into these three college educated intelligent people's brains that I would be lining up for a mask and a uh, and a vaccine, but since there is not, as far as I know, a mask or a vaccine uh, uh, against this virus uh, overtaking otherwise intelligent uh, college-educated folks, uh, I, I I was just thinking, oh my God, am I here all alone? And then, of course, we got into the fucking chemtrail thing. <clears throat> because my buddy, he remembers, I guess, <clears throat> when I was a chemtrail wacko. So he was not aware of the fact that uh, I had eaten my tinfoil hat and was no longer a chemtrail wacko. And he was uh, rather astonished to hear uh, that someone who understood uh, corona panic did not, uh, uh, you know, understand that chemtrails, well, you know, the, uh, <coughs> I, I don't need to go off on a rant about the chemtrail wackos. <clears throat> and so, of course, we got in a lively discussion, and he was going to convince me uh, that chemtrails are real, and, and and I loved it. So you know how these people get. He and his wife, but I mean my friend, she's given up uh, on ever getting me uh, to believe in chemtrails. At least until chemtrails do become real in a few years, and all the chemtrail wackos will be vindicated. And at that point, as I told them, uh, I'm just taking some time off. And once chemtrails do become real in a few years, then I can get back over in your camp. But I, but I loved it at one point. This is really all I'm going to talk about this chemtrail wacko ship. I, I, I loved it at one point. What he was doing <coughs> was using a photograph to convince me that chemtrails were real. And as I was laughing and pointing out to him, I, I said, Billy Bob, if, if I were trying to defend my position that chemtrails are not real, I would be offering up uh, the very same photograph that you're offering to me to 
convince me that chemtrails are real. The, the very same evidence, photographic evidence, off of one of your chemtrail wacko sites, you know, as ironclad proof that chemtrails are real, I would be holding up as proof that chemtrails are bullshit. But you know, the bottom line that uh, especially they could enjoy because it was three against one is we we, we all did agree on on, uh, on this that uh, okay how can it be how can it be all all four people in that room all four of all four of us have the same information, evidence, whatever, available to us that everyone else in the room has. So how can it be that, uh, well, let's just call it two people. Let, let's just say it was two against two instead of three against one. Uh, you know what I'm saying, but how can it be that, that, that even two people can uh, two, you, you know, uh, the apparently intelligent, uh, obviously uh, articulate, uh, and in this case, college educated, if that means anything, can have the very same evidence available to them and come out with 180 degree opposite uh, the beliefs uh, on, on what is true uh, and, 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 and what is bullshit. I, I mean, you know, as I told them, uh, I categorically reject 90% of everything th th that, that you're telling me. I don't give a flying fuck uh, what you pull off the internet. I don't care how many fucking documentaries uh, you can show me about chemtrails or stolen elections or, or that fucking the corona panic vaccine uh, is killing more people than corona panic is killing. Uh, whatever. Uh, it, 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 you know, going on to YouTube and, and pulling up YouTube documentaries uh, as, as evidence the, that that something is real. I mean, it, it just uh, doesn't make any sense, but we all did agree that there is a very good chance that every one of us is completely dead wrong. That every one of us uh, are, are clueless fucking morons uh, and, and have come, you know, to different wrong conclusions, and that probably the real truth about whether it's chemtrails, stolen elections, corona panic, vaccines, whatever, the usual list is that all sides are full of shit and, and that there's some other truth that none of us have ever even considered. So we did agree uh, on the, the probability of that being the truth was probably the real truth. But I did enjoy giving uh, Billy Bob, you know, obviously they wanted to hear for about 10 minutes, uh, you, you know, what it meant to be a doomer. And so I said, it's quite simple. I said, so uh, I, I gave them, this was the question. I said, I want you to fill in the blank, the last word of this sentence in one word. Okay, and this is what I told them. I, I, I said, <clears throat> how did I phrase it? It was more than the problem with humans and the planet. I, I said, okay, the, that's right. The number one threat, the number one threat to humanity and this planet is blank. The number one threat 
to humanity in this planet is blank. So I started with Lulu, and she said greed. That greed was the number one threat to humanity and the planet. And, and I said, you're on the right track. And I turned to Billy Bob. I said, okay, Billy Bob, the number one threat to humanity and this planet is blank. And he goes, the number one threat to humanity and this planet is ourselves is what he said. And I said, hallelujah, you are a doomer. Uh, brother, you understand that we, that we have met the enemy and that he is us. And as long as you understand that, you are a doomer and you are welcome into the doomosphere with all of your beliefs about Donald Trump, stolen elections, uh, corona panic, vaccines, chemtrails, whatever else. If you understand the biggest threat to humanity and the planet is humans, welcome to the doomosphere. And obviously, I mean, th these guys were an absolute perfect match for each other. They were really a cute couple. And uh, so obviously, I wanted to know where they met. Uh, how such two perfect peas in a pod, obviously happily married. Uh, I guess they met about five, six years ago. They've been married for a little less than three years, I believe. And uh, so they met online. I said, oh, really? They, they met online, uh, fell in love, and ended up getting married. They are an absolutely perfect couple. So I said, well, which, you know, I told them that I've been, you know, on the internet dating for how long? And I, I said, well, what website did you guys meet on? And where they met, <laughs> where these uh, Trump voting uh, Kim Trail, Whack, oh, whatever, where they met was this place called, uh, called Conscious Dating Network. Conscious Dating Network is the oldest, largest, exclusively Green, oh, I forgot to mention that they're staunch climate change deniers. I forgot to mention that global warming is a hoax. Conscious Dating Network is the oldest, largest, exclusively green, eco-friendly, and spiritual slash conscious network of online dating sites with over 23 years of experience, the Conscious Dating Network. Now, okay, guys, and I do want to make uh, it clear that we all four solidly believe in the bright green lies of the energy transition. That uh, we, we all agree on uh, how hilarious the limp dick lefty greenies are. And, and, and I'm thinking, what the fuck? You know, how either one of these people ever thought of uh, going on there. So apparently the conscious dating network, you can choose, you, you know, your main rabbit hole uh, out of the conscious dating network. So they met over there in the, uh, I believe it was the spiritual singles. These, they, you know, there's like, is your main rabbit hole spirituality, <clears throat> you know, health, social justice, whatever. But uh, I guess their main one and uh, the one that, so we looked through this and decided that a doomer would have no chance. So, uh, 
you, you know, Lulu was looking over this, you know, she's really encouraging me to join the Conscious Dating Network to find my Doomer Chick forever. So, uh, here is the one that Lulu chose for me, the Green Singles. Green Singles make every day Earth Day. Yes. Green Singles caters to singles who value the first word is vegan. The first word on the list is vegan. Okay, we cater to singles who value vegans and vegetarians, organic, non-GMO, whole foods. Okay, number three, the earth, ecology, and the environment. Number four, sustainable and off-grid living. Number five, permaculture and community agriculture. Number six, animal and human rights. Number seven, homesteading and intentional communities. Number eight, holistic health and alternative therapies. Number nine, of course, yoga, meditation, and mindfulness. Number 10, peace and social justice. Number 11, independent media and thinking. Number 12, contribution and volunteering. Ending up number 13, creating world peace and freedom. So anyway, uh, Lulu highly suggested that I take my ad out. So I, as of last night, I am now advertising for my Doomer Chick on green singles. Uh, you, you can imagine me scrolling. I scrolled through about 20 of their top matches that green singles came up for me. And out of the 20, I think 12 of them were vegans. Two of them were omnivores. Two of them were omnivores. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. So I put in my ad, uh, I, I, I said, you know, I mentioned my place uh, in New York. And then I, 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 I just said, ladies, I said, I'm going to be honest here. I am a doomer. I am a dyed-in-the-wool, unapologetic doomer. And uh, since there is no conscientious doomer dating site uh, on here, this is as close as I could get. I am looking for a doomer chick. If you know what that means you know, let uh, hear from me, and so then, of course, I put a link to Collapse Chronicles, if you want to, and more of what I am about, I put the link to Collapse Chronicles, and within 20 minutes, uh, my profile was rejected by Green Singles, uh, because, because of the link to Collapse Chronicles, so they made me take that out, but anyway, I am officially on, uh, on green singles. So wish me luck, but I really am happy for, uh, for Billy Bob and, uh, and Lulu for finding each other on a conscientious thing. And I, I did find one woman on, a, on, on green singles right up front. She says, I am an ardent Trump supporter. If you are not a Donald Trump supporter, do not contact me. So there you go. We do have, if we have Trump supporters on green singles, 
Uh, then maybe there is a Doomer chick. We have got to get a Doomer dating site going. I know that uh, NTHE has some sort of uh, dating site for clueless fucking morons who think uh, humans are going to be extinct in the next few years. But we need, you know, a site for Doomers with brains. You know, Doomer love. How can we create a a Doomer love network? Uh, a dating site. A dating site for Doomers with brains who don't care for humans, but for some reason still love people. So, uh, if anyone wants to uh, co-create, uh, have an intentional community of uh, doomers looking for love in the doomosphere, let's figure it out. But right now, uh, I have to go looking for lunch. Uh, of course, the stove is electric. Oh yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a Coleman stove out here. So I'm going to go fire up my Coleman stove and have a uh, decidedly non-vegan lunch while I still can. Bye, guys.